guy a response video to a great text video. Not really responding to him though, not much point in conversing with him sometimes. Impossible character, as they say. Uh, anyway, we'll just say quickly, if you don't know, Fake Sagan's account is unsuspended. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if it matters. I mean, he's not really compelled to make videos, obviously. Uh, he hasn't made a new video in like a month, so whatever. Uh, he's back until he's gone again. <laughs> whatever. But whatever, whatever. YouTube, maybe the YouTube's just confusing us, keeping us off balance so that we don't even mirror videos anymore because we can't tell when an account is savable and when it's not. Or I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. <laughs> it's just, it's just too stupid. Um, so anyway, but two great texts on this Drake equation crap. So I'll just play the ending clip of his video because it's really obnoxious. Equation is we can't really test it just now, can we? If we can't test it at all, which I would argue we can't. <laughs> all right, so here he's got a, the, the end. Of, he, see, he admits in the video we can't test it. It's you know even even under ideal circumstances we might not be able to test it <laughs> and uh, but no it's a perfectly adequate fine way of determining the truth um, by which he calls a dimensional analysis which I don't even think the Drake equation fits into because it's complete bullshit it's pull it out of your ass analysis there is no analysis it's it's superficial it's trivial it insults the goddamn truth <laughs> um, and, uh, well, anyway, we'll continue a little the ending here. But the methodology is fucking solid, man. And, you know, infinitely more dependable than the Mendham method, which seems to be, I don't like people who like aliens, so it's all bullshit. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so, yeah, I, I make 10, 11 minute videos, and that's the best you can glean out of my critique, is that I don't like aliens. Um, uh, people believe in aliens. I mean, what a pile of shit. Um, I'm just making the point that this optimism that surrounds the idea that the universe is doing something very human-y and conscious -y and elegant and, you know, it's painting paintings all over the place or something, or doing arts or being creative, um, is a crock of shit um, that has nothing to do with physics or biology that got us here. Um, it's just, it's just um, psychobabble bullshit. And the Drake equation was just um, a, a way of veiling in some sort of scientific process that kind of crap. Um, that's your method, which is just shit, Gary. That's shit. That's not a scientific method. Mm. That's your fucking opinionating. Oh, yeah, right. Opinionating based on logic, asshole. Um, there's real issues with the Drake equation. I mean, what, do we, we just pull out of a number out of, the, the first number they pull out of their ass is the number of variables they're going to put in the equation. We don't know how unlikely the Big Bang was. We don't know how unlikely the consolidation of the necessary chemical components was. We don't know any of the fucking hurdles that life went through to get to the point where it even could start evolving. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's not an um, irrelevant fact. Fact. Let's deal with facts. Uh, okay, we've been here for four billion years. We haven't found any other freaking life form on this planet, and not even not a microbe, not anything um, that isn't dependent on our same DNA. Okay. I mean, it's it's there's only so there's only one reproducing molecule. Is that the only possibility? There's only one molecule combination that's capable of becoming a reproducing machine. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, there's lots of facts, you know, okay, that you can't, you can't just wash them away and say they're meaningless. We have no idea, like I said, I mean, I don't know, how, how many times can I say it? Um, the, our existence could be preposterously ludicrous. Or it could be, yes, in, a, in, a, in multi-universes, although it could be all over the place, theoretically, if the universe is infinite and forever and goes on and on and on in, in zillions and gazillions of permutations. Um, but we don't know, period. So get fucked with it, Mr. Objective. Mr. Objective, unbiased truth. 
has declared that it's bullshit because he had an argument with some stone dude about aliens. Yeah, right. So that's not, you know, again, you just, you always take the truth and you pervert it. You do your little whimsical jokery, um, but it has nothing to do with reality. Uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I make long fucking videos explaining why I believe what I believe, why I'm saying what I'm saying. I don't just say it and leave it there on the floor like assholes like you. No, I account for what I'm saying. Um, so fuck you and your, this bullshit. Um, this this is this is bullshit science. It's garbage science. Um, if the Drake, if you want to give the Drake equation some some credibility, well, yeah, let's add a whole bunch more variables, and then let's run the Drake equation each time. Let's do it with a computer or some little handheld device, and let's um, let, and let and let it throw in the variability. Okay, so let's say there's numbers. All we do know about life. The first, the first cell is that it was very difficult. Or all we know about the the the, the composition of the Earth, um, and and the fact that life had to do this hurdle thing, where it first had to exist, and then it had to create an atmosphere where it could actually thrive. Um, so it had to, you know, we we could say that the number that it well that's only going to happen. We could we could come up with some number, Drake or anybody else. And come up with some number that that's only going to happen one in three thousand um, experiments. Let's call them, um, or I mean that's the minimum. That that's the best case scenario we could call that. And then the worst case scenario, it could almost be an inf infinitely difficult, because obviously we don't have any way to test it. Um, and so let's yeah let's so let's run the equation now with that with with the probability of three thousand the number three thousand or the number one billion or the number. 10 zillion that could be the actual real number all right and I'm saying that once you add 30 or 40 of those kind of variables into this equation with numbers that could have as their answer infinitely um, improbable um, okay then this equation is going to have a whole different end result and a whole different impression created in people's heads so fuck you um, so I just I'll go through some of this I mean I, I never I liked Carl Sagan don't get me wrong um, he did a great Universe for Dummies series. He um, gave people cause to pay attention to the, even the discussion, which is great. But the discussion in the talking head arena, in the, in the background, the discussion has to be about something other than golden unicorn bullshit. Um, the scientists have to start dealing with the fucking facts. And the facts are, <clears throat> is that we are descendant from a little... Um, machine, a little reproducing machine that only had two fucking objectives, two fucking mechanisms built into itself, um, consumption and reproduction, period. It's not more elegant than that. And if we, and if we do start to uh, analyze it and scrutinize it, we can see what it's doing. We can see through its evolution what it does. All right, we can see the transition from like plant to animal and you can kind of figure it out and you can say, okay, so there was an advantage in an organism being able to get to a greater flu food supply, to even chase the food supply. And uh, so then now once it becomes mobile, it ends up probably, it seems quite logical that it's going to have a head and it's going to have a tail. And so now consumption is going to be through a process through its body. Um, and we can see it happen in the, in the fucking foxhole record. That's what you can see life doing. Um, it, it, and, and worm becomes the obvious uh, it becomes an obvious link in the evolution history. I mean, if there was any life on any other planet, it probably went through the flatworm stage. It went through the, the, the worm stage anyway. Um, because it makes perfectly good sense that it would have uh, a mouth, that it would be able to regulate how much food it takes in, so when there's plenty of supply, it would just grab what it needed out of the stuff and shit it out the other end. And then when food supplies were um, more rare, it would take more time and, 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 and digest more aggressively whatever it consumed. There'd be all kinds of reasons and logic for uh, the uh, evolutionary advantage, the survival advantage, what would be required organ for organisms 
to become. And all that can be, we can, we can go through it and we can kind of deduce these things. And we can see ourselves and what we've become. We're just this fucking eccentric psychology that's been built on a very crude, um, feel good, feel bad um, foundation that still has it, it as its roots um, this idea of consumption, food, I'm hungry, feed me, grow me, and reproduction, which we end up doing eventually, as, at least as a species, in excess. Um, and it's just it's just obvious and there's, there's nothing else going on here there's nothing else to do here this is that's the nature of life it's just a reproducing machine period it's a goddamn terminator it's a it's a it's just a mechanical goddamn device and the mats of the world and the math fails and all these spiritualist crap and all this mumbo jumbo has nothing to fucking do with our biological our physical reality and you people just want to keep trying to find your goddamn God somewhere in this fucking story. And he doesn't fucking exist.